Hi and welcome to another card video. Today I'm going to be doing some watercoloring with Distress Ink using the My Favorite Nut Stamp Set by Neat and Tangled. So I have my water brushes, some Distress card, watercolor cardstock, and Distress Ink, and I'm going to be embossing the acorn image with Versafine Onyx Black and clear embossing powder. So I'm going to start by getting my image into my MISTI, just in case I don't get a good impression the first time. I'm going to lay my cardstock in, get my image, lay it down, close the door, ink it up with the Versafine Onyx Black, and stamp it onto my cardstock. And when I lift the door, I have a good impression, so I'm going to take that out, cover it with clear embossing powder, and then heat set it. And by heat setting it, it will enable me to watercolor easier because the watercolor won't go everywhere. It'll stay within the lines of the image. And it also gives it a nice raised look as well. And it's a nice solid black color because it's clear embossing. So I'm gonna be using a few colors of Distress Ink today. The brown colors I'm using first are Ground Espresso, and vintage photo. So I'm going to be coloring in one of the squirrels as well as the acorn with those two colors. So I started with the squirrel and now I'm doing the cap of the acorn and this is with the vintage photo. And then I'm going to take the early, not the early espresso, the ground espresso and I'm going to be doing um, another layer over the cap after I finish with the vintage photo, just to give it some depth and dimension. And I'm also going to be using the ground espresso to do the inside of the cap to give it some shadow in there as well. Then I'm going to take two gray colors for the other squirrel. I'm using pumice stone and hickory smoke. So I'm going to start with the pumice stone and go over the little squirrel and then I'm going to use the hickory smoke to add a little bit of detail and shading. I'm also going to add in a little bit of the brown just to give it a more of a brown undertone. The pumice stone already has that brown undertone, but this just enhances it a little bit more. Then I'm going to be using the twisted citron for the leaf. And then once that's dry, I'm going to use the mowed lawn to add some shading. So while that dries, I'm going to go over to my background and I'm going to use tumbled glass distress ink for my background. I switched to a larger brush because I needed a more surface area covered. So I'm using the tumbled glass first and then that wasn't dark enough so I went to broken china, which is a little bit of a deeper blue. And I'm just sort of scribbling the color on and adding water so that they blend nicely together. and once I'm happy with what, how that looks, I'm just going to set that aside to dry as well. And now I'm just going to add another layer of color on top of what I've already done, just to deepen the shadows and to make it a little bit more dimensional. So I'm using the vintage photo to add another layer of color to the bottom part of the acorn and concentrating it around the sides to round the shape a little bit more. And then I'm going to use the ground espresso to darken the top part of the acorn or the acorn cap. And once that's done, I'm going to add a little bit of black soot as well to even intensify the color even more and darken it even more. And I'm going to use that on the inside of the acorn as well to deepen the shadows there. So once all those parts are done, I'm going to finish off my squirrels by adding a little bit more color and that will come up shortly. And then once everything is dry, I go back in with some pencil crayons, some Prismacolor pencil crayons, and just add some details. So I'll add some texture to the cap of the acorn as well as some texture to the squirrels to make them look like they are furry. So that didn't happen to be 
taped, but in the finished photo you'll be able to see some of those details. And that completes the painting portion. So I'm going to finish up my card by cutting out the watercolored panel with a lawn fawn stitched rectangle and the coordinating dies for the squirrel image. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment with the Versafine Onyx Black ink. And I'm going to heat emboss with some clear embossing powder. So I'm going to heat set that until it's melted. And then finish the sentiment by stamping you are my above the word favorite and Valentine below the word favorite using the same ink. Once the sentiment is done, I'm going to add foam tape to the back of the squirrels to pop it up off the back panel. And then I'm going to add more foam tape to the back of the panel to adhere it to my card base, which is going to be a wood grain card stock cut at 11 inches by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. And once I've adhered that down, I'm going to finish off my card with some pretty pink posh sparkling clear sequins. And I'm going to ad adhere those down using multi medium matte by Ranger. And that's it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.